We at Hearts of Utilities would like to welcome you to Earth Day and thank you for your interest in our community and our environment. Hearts of Utilities is committed to ensuring a clean and healthy environment by the proper treatment of wastewater. And now we would like to show you a short presentation of the Hartzell Wastewater Treatment Facilities. We will begin with aerial photos of our plant located at 3392 Blue Ridge Road in Hartzell. The operations of the facility began in 1986 at a cost of $4 million. It operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. We are very proud of this plant because it is one of the finest of its kind in the state of Alabama. The quality of water returning to Shoal Creek is excellent. It exceeds all of the required specifications set by the Department of Environmental Management. The wastewater treatment plant is a major component of the municipal sewage system. It serves as the receiving point for all raw sewage for the entire community. The sewage consists of water carried waste from residents, schools, churches, retail establishments, industrial wastewater, and all types of infiltrated ground and stormwater. All of the sources introduced are wastewater and must be treated at the wastewater treatment plant in a manner that our final discharge will meet or exceed the water quality standards set by the State Department of Environmental Management and local regulatory agencies. The Hartzell Utilities Wastewater Treatment Plant has undergone a lot of improvements to help advance the efficiency and operation of our collection treatment systems. You are now viewing the control center to the wastewater treatment plant, which is called our SCADA system. We use the SCADA system to monitor waste flows from the entire city. This also allows us to monitor equipment and flows through the entire treatment process. The SCADA systems gives our operators the capability to monitor all 20 lift stations throughout the city at a glance, from this control center through the use of radio-controlled telemetry. You are now viewing the headworks to our wastewater treatment plant. This is where all the raw sewage from our community is received to be treated. This piece of equipment you are viewing is a channel grinder. This machine consists of a series of stainless steel cutter blades which simply grind up the solid waste into fine particles so as not to damage or stop up expensive pumps and treatment equipment. The grit removal system shown here is a series of pumps that blow air into the water that helps settle out grit and other materials so it can be taken out of the water for better treatment. The second process the raw water sewage goes through is the screw lift station. The three screws that you are viewing simply lift or pump the raw sewage from a low elevation to a higher elevation. Each of the three screws are capable of pumping 2400 gallons per minute. Wastewater is pumped up to the top of the screw lifts and then it flows into the oxidation ditches which are the third process. Oxidation ditches are for the aeration and mixing needs. The ditches hold 1.35 million gallons of wastewater. They contain six 42-inch diameter, 22-foot-long rotors equipped with stainless steel brush blades, powered with 50 horsepower motors. There are three in each ditch for the purpose of creating oxygen for the aerobatic bacteria and other microorganisms so they can break down and feed upon organic materials and bring the wastewater in contact with air so the oxygen may be absorbed. The fourth process is the final clarifier. The clarifier takes the discharged solids and water from the oxidation ditches. This is the process in our treatment plant where the separation of solids and wastewater will occur. Each clarifier is 60 foot in diameter and can hold 253,622 gallons of wastewater. Here detention time is a factor for solids to settle to the bottom of the clarifier and they are returned to the screw lifts and back into the oxidation ditches. 
After separation from the solids, the clear water flows over the weirs to our fifth process, the chlorine contact chamber. The chlorine contact chamber consists of a chlorine injection point at the beginning of the chamber and a series of concrete baffles that slow down the flow of treated water for approximately 30 minutes as required detention time to obtain complete disinfection which will destroy any harmful microorganisms. The sixth process is the cascades. The tumbling action of the water flows down a series of concrete steps that was designed to increase oxygen levels of the treated water to above seven parts per million as required by the State Department of Alabama. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management requires the removal of any chlorine residue before the treated water may be discharged into the receiving stream. The removal of chlorine takes place with an injection of a chemical known as sulfur dioxide. The high quality treated water is then discharged into Shoal Creek. To ensure that the treatment plant process is in compliance with the State Department of Alabama, wastewater treatment plant operators perform all types of analytical analysis of wastewater on a daily basis. Hearts Utilities goal is to provide the proper training of all wastewater distribution and plant personnel to ensure a healthy clean water discharge of water back into the environment for human health, fish, and wildlife of the state of Alabama. One of our newest pieces of equipment is the centrifuge. The centrifuge received sludge from the holding tank. We then add a polymer to the sludge to aid in the separation of the liquids from the solids. The sludge then enters the centrifuge and the liquid is separated from the solids by spinning it at 3000 RPMs. Solids are then conveyed out to a drying bed while the liquids run through the treatment process again. Hartzell Utilities would like to thank you for your time, interest, and involvement in Earth Day. We will have one of our treatment plant operators here to answer any questions that you may have about the treatment of wastewater. Thank you, and have a great Earth Day.